Welcome back. Before we take a look at the day's business news, let's take a look at the stock indices across the GCC. The UAE is set to roll out a platform that will allow financial institutions in the Gulf state to check consumers' credit worthiness before lending to them after a planned launch last year was delayed. al had Credit Bureau AECB, a federal government company specialized in providing UAE-based credit reports and other financial information, announced on Tuesday that it will be operational by the end of March. AECB said it has approached all UAE-based banks to sign agreements and provide credit information by the end of January. Additionally, AECB said it is currently finalizing the installation of an electronic link with banks to create a comprehensive database of individuals' and businesses' credit information. Until now, banks in the UAE have been unable to access data on consumers at other financial institutions when making a lending decision. Marwan Ahmad Lutfi, the CEO of AECB, was quoted in local reports as saying that effectively run credit bureaus are internationally proven to support responsible lending, enhance payment behavior, and reduce credit losses from bad or non-performing debts, adding that the pilot phase of testing has been successfully completed and it is awaiting formal approval from the UAE cabinet to start operations. The establishment of the UAE Credit Bureau at a federal level has been talked about for years with a change in the law required to secure it a mandate. Previously, AECB said that phase two of the initiative will see the launch of a commercial bureau as well as the phasing out of bounce check reporting. Phase three will include the introduction of value-added services for lenders, while individual credit scores based on historical data will make up Phase 4. Imar Properties has launched the newest addition to its Arabian Ranches extension in Dubai. Laila will feature 219 villas in five different types, ranging from three to five bedrooms each, with private plots for gardens and outdoor decks. In a statement, Imar said that the launch of Laila, a family-centered community marked by green neighborhoods, walkways and cycling paths, followed the successful response to other additions to Arabian ranches, including Casa, Palma, and Rosa. Imar will launch simultaneous sales for Laila in Dubai and Abu Dhabi on January 11, with registration for potential investors to start on January 8 at 10 a.m. on www.imar.ae. The developer added that the new development will offer residents a range of leisure, retail, and lifestyle offerings, including the residence club, which will feature a gymnasium for men and women, geometric pool, an indoor running track, beauty saloon, and spa. Ahmad al Matrushi, the managing director of Imar Properties, said in a statement that the Arabian Ranches community has become the benchmark in family lifestyle by promoting aesthetics inspired from some of the most renowned architectural styles in the world. Dubai's gold and jewelry trade is seeing its biggest rush of buying activity since April last year, as shoppers make full use of the continued softness in the metals prices, now around the $1,200 an ounce mark. As a result, the category sales during DSF 2014 has seen daily volume since January 2, averaging 200 to 225 kilos from the 180 participating jewelry outlets in Dubai, according to sources at Dubai's gold and jewelry group. In the five days since the DSF opening, gold in Dubai was averaging 140.5 dirhams a gram for 22 carat. The highest it ever touched was 199 dirhams in 2012. Last year, average volumes during DSF were 150 to 170 kilograms when gold was ruling at $1,640 an ounce. It was immediately thereafter in early April that gold prices started losing its luster, making sure that it was the worst year for the metal since 1981. Last year, gold shed 28 percent in value. According to local reports, Shamlal Ahmad, Director of International Operations at Malagar at Malabar Gold and Diamonds was quoted as saying that average transactions per buyer now are for 20 to 22 grams as against the 16 grams when prices were in the $1,400 to $1,600 range. <laughs> 